For years, the Rose family had felt safe in their home in the small town of Lexington, North Carolina. But all that changed on the morning of December 22, 1992, when 13 year old Crystal and her younger sister Randy were alone in the house. We feel like Crystal was capable, because she is a mature 13 year old, to stay at home. The day before, a stranger came to the door. They did not know who this person was. She immediately called 911, but they, they didn't find anyone. If we had any inkling that someone would come back the second time, we would never have left them here. Who is that? I don't know. Do you recognize him? No. The house sits 3,400 yards off the road. There's only a small opening in the trees to the highway. Get in the room and don't make any noise. Apparently, it was a building of their suspicion. Something told them it wasn't right. Seeing a car they didn't recognize. Seeing a person they didn't recognize. And then he put on gloves. Davidson County Dispatcher Steve Lee took the call. Yesterday didn't turn out to be anything, and my first thought was, well, you know, it's going to be the same thing. Is it the same but you have to treat everything like it's real. Okay. Are you there by yourself? When we continue. I've heard people being beat up on telephone. I've heard people having heart attacks on telephone. But just to lose them completely was scary. Partner Sandy Williams and I, we've worked out something that we call tag team dispatching. And I know Sandy's getting help going. I can concentrate talking with the caller. Okay, is he still at the door now? Yes, he keeps knocking. Okay, what type of car is he in? I can't tell you my room right now. Can you hurry, please? Okay, there, stay on the line with me. Can you tell what type of car he's in or anything? No, it's so Can you tell me what he looks like? He's got brown, long hair. Brown? He's a white person. My closest car was down south, was nowhere close to the area. But I had a civil unit close to the residence. Cedar Lodge traffic. 503 Lexington, we're in immediate vicinity. We will respond. Four deputies with the Sheriff's Department, including Major Marshall Nance, happened to be in the area. When you start off with a 1060, that's just a plain suspicious vehicle. We had them all the time. But as we got uh, got near the scene, the situation changed dramatically. It's going to be a Randy Rose residence. This is in reference to a 1060. Subject's at the door at this time. Okay, what color is your house? My house is cream color, sir. Okay. He's knocking real mean. Okay, it's just, okay, I've got somebody there real fast. Real close. They're right now. Stay on the line with me. They're coming. Are you sure? That, uh, yes, ma'am, I am sure they're coming. Okay. okay, stay on the line with me. I'm scared. I know. It's all right. Captain Danny Brown was one of the four civil officers in the car. If he broke in on them children, they would have recognized him. They could have picked him out from a uh, lineup. I do not think that uh, he would have uh, took what he could and left them to tell the tale. Before dialing 911, Crystal had called her mother at work. I kept thinking about the, the day the girls were born, the first time I ever saw my little girls. And then I started crying, and I, I, I couldn't see for the tears. Okay, are there any cars in your driveway? No. Okay. He keeps knocking. Okay, it's all right. Can you tell them to hurry up? Ma'am, they're on the way. Are you sure? Hey, Ma'am, I'm sure. Okay. okay, I got one right there at 85 right now. They 
knocked the door down. He's knocked the door down. 105, 105, 10, 12, 503, subject has made entry at this time. Yes, sir. Stay on the line with Hurry me, up. okay? He's, uh, he's in here. Okay, stay on line with me. You got a beige house, right? Okay, what's going on now? Is he in the bedroom with you? Is he in the bedroom with you? I've heard people being beat up on telephone. I've heard people having heart attacks on telephone. But just a lose them completely was scary. He was responding to a false contact subject, subject had gained entry into the house. I didn't know if he was uh, in the room with him, had he took him hostage, or had he heard him before we got there. I just saw a, a figure of someone in the doorway for just a brief second, then they ducked back into the house. You don't know what's going through the mind of the individual doing the break-in. Is he there to steal jewelry? Is he there to rape someone? Is he there to murder someone? Oh, Mama, Mama. Help us, we're in here. Somebody. Church department, come out with your hands up. Church department. Church department. Where is he? He's downstairs. It just got my daddy's gun. You girls all right? Yeah. No, stay up here. Stay up here. Sergeant Danny Smith headed around the back. Hold it. Turn around, face the wall. Put your hands up on the wall. At that particular moment, it kind of shocked me to see someone with a suit coming out. He said he was a salesman, but I don't know what he was selling. Apparently, he's a career criminal. He had got out of prison in May. Detective Jody Schoff was the investigating officer. Had it not been for the quick response of the girls using the phone and calling for help and the deputies being close by could have had two victims instead of two heroes. When our eyes met, Crystal came running to me. She says, Mama, she says, he put a gun to my head. And I, I fell apart. I completely fell apart. The suspect subsequently pleaded guilty to three felony counts and was sentenced to 32 years in prison. Six months have passed, but the painful memories of that day still linger. They was braver then than they are now. I mean, they, uh, well, it gets dark, they won't go outside. They won't even go down in the basement unless one goes, there's got to be two of them. I don't believe they'll ever get over all of it. They'll remember it. But, uh, I hope they can get where they can sleep, sleep in their own bed. Later on, she says, Mom, I was shaking so bad, I couldn't get to the gun. I said, Crystal, don't worry about it. You done the right thing. You done the right thing. I'm glad she didn't load the gun, because he could have taken it from her. He could have used it on her. It's changed my view of people having their guns on display. These crimes move at a rapid pace. The military and the police are the only ones I'm aware of that are trained to handle a firearm in a defensive manner under those stress conditions. It's a lot different than shooting skeet. I was scared when he held the gun in my head because I really wasn't sure if it was loaded or not. I think she's smart for what she did. I was scared. I thought he was going to take us in. <laughs> Me and my sisters don't fight as much. <laughs> It's brought us a lot closer, because she helped out, too, because she listened. The kids did great. They stayed on the line with us. I mean, she was nervous, and that's to be expected, but she stayed calm with Steve, more so than I think a lot of kids would have done. Every child is a gift from God. They are my precious gifts, and always will be.